Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome to another edition of Speak Up or Shut Up. I'm your host, Devin Sears. Going to be keeping you company for a little bit. Remember, if you have not clicked like on the page as yet, head across to Facebook, run a search for Speak Up or Shut Up, click like on the page, and guess what? This week, you could win some free credit. That's right, you can win some free credit, either Digicel or GTNT, whatever your preference is. All right, so on this episode, I'm going to be talking about Linden. I always like to talk about Linden because I am from Linden. I am born in Linden, grew in Linden. Studied in Lynn, you know, you get the picture. All right, so this is a situation currently. A lot of persons have been complaining about the economic situation here in Linden, and Linden is not going anywhere, and it's been like this for quite some time. And as a result, they have been a serious brain drain. Really, in Linden, uh, a town that is almost about 31,000 uh, uh, people, all right? Now, this is the reality. Every year, we have about 6,500 kids possibly graduating um, from high school and they're complaining that they don't have employment so some persons who are fortunate enough head across to university or do some other sort of studies we have seen an increase in a lot of officers I'm talking about police army and so on and of course those who are also fortunate get into nursing and, and that's basically it. that's that's how employment is split among young people here in Linden good that, so that's when it comes to em employment opportunities the bauxite company has been around for 100 years in fact on october 16 they are going to be celebrating their 100 year anniversary good so they take off maybe about 500 what do the other persons do well let me just explain and break it down to you now we have a lot of tradesmen persons who would have been laid off the company that luckily got employed by Gan Gold Field or Troy Resources or some persons who are working independently in the gold mining industry um, running their, their dredges and so forth in what we call the bush all right and then we have some other persons who decided to invest their money into small businesses and they, that's how they make their living and then some others who uh, possibly got a down payment got money to make a down payment in a car and is working on all cars or taxi or what we call hired cars so that's how employment is split in Linden but then there's still a large amount of residents who are unemployed what are they doing with their time? Well, the thing is what is keeping Linden together is what we call remittance. Remittance has to do with receiving financial support from maybe family overseas. They're, they send money now and then um, through Western Union, MoneyGram, and, and so on, the post office and so forth. That's how the whole economics in Linden is being stimulated. There's no fresh investment when it comes to Linden, absolutely none. We've seen Burbies transform over the last 10 years, but surprisingly, Linden is not going anywhere. But let's look at the possibilities of, um, of possible investments that come to, can come to Linden. We have, when it comes to labor, we have labor. We have a lot of tradesmen, a lot of persons who you're seeing driving taxis and so forth are well-educated people, but unfortunately, there's no job opportunities. So if you bring manufacturing to Linden, that definitely will ease some of the unemployment rate that we have. Outside of that, we am even thinking to have possibly a telecommunications, um, what we call a call center that we had years ago, but unfortunately, whatever went wrong, uh, they were forced to close. But if we have that, we still have a lot of those persons who are employed by the call center that possibly could be employed there then. And I'm thinking, hey, why not Qualphone? Qualphone is a reputable company They've established three branches over the last maybe um, 10 years or so. There's one in BB, there's one, one in Pleasance, and now recently Providence opened a campus there. So I'm thinking if they can if they can set up a plant here, a call center here, we can take off possibly about 2,000 people. So those are some prospects. But outside of that, my, I believe manufacturing is one of the ways to go, right? And telecommunications the other part which is very much unexplored when it comes to linden is agriculture now a lot of people don't like to hear plant more and grow more and all sorts of things like that because frankly i'm going to be honest lindeners or some lindeners don't believe farming is the solution to our economic uh, problems that we have but it could be a solution as well because when you think about it Food security but throughout the Caribbean is on high demand. I remember years ago hearing stories about Ghana being the breadbasket of the Caribbean. What happened? Over those years, we have fallen short. We saw the Sarapana farm close down. Uh, West Wetuka is not doing that good. 
Dalawala is not doing that great, but these were projects that have really supported linen arts um, in its time of need. And I believe if we go back to that, provide food for ourselves, we keep this within a circle. Now, I'm not saying, I know we have a free market economy where private persons can come into our community and sell, but we need to develop this mentality that if it's grown here, we need to support it. As long as we support our brother, but then our economy will grow because the money is not going out. And really and truly, the money is going out of our town. Every time we support somebody else's business, I know Georgetown is just about an hour drive away or we could call somebody and tell them, you know, pick up this thing and come to Linden and so forth. But if your neighbor is selling it, of course it would be a little more expensive. But don't see it as making your neighbor rich. See it as investing in your town. Because as long as the money stays here, that person will get a little bit of money, he will support the taxi drivers, and it's a circle, it's a cycle, all right? But we have to look at bringing new money into Linden, of course. Um, outside of agriculture, let me just tell you that the Trinidadians, the, um, the Brazilians, they're investing big in places like Takama, Savannah, and Ibini, and all those places. But we have to come to grips with when and be serious about agriculture in Linden here. We have to support our local economy. If we don't, we could lose, possibly lose everything. So that is one aspect of it. Tourism is also an alternative too. Linen is a perfect destination for persons who are in transiting into the interior or heading to the coastline. And we need to look at infrastructure, we need to look at hotel accommodation, hospitality, all of these things. There are several spill-offs when it comes to Linden. But listen, I'm going to continue this topic on the next episode of Speak Up or Shut Up. But leave your comment below and let me know what are your thoughts on possible economic stimulations for Linden. What could work and what you have observed that's not working. And let's stay together, stay cohesive, and let's build this beautiful town of ours. I've been your host, Steven Sears. Oh my goodness, it's pretty, pretty hot right now. So I'm perspiring. But nevertheless, leave a comment below, click like on the page. And until next time, God bless.